Hey, do you have a lot of email that you have the privilege of reading every day? I think many of us do. And I don't know about you, but I, I have a habit of kind of skimming the, the, the first few lines and trying to get to the meat of what it is that somebody might be asking me or um, requesting from me. And generally that works out okay, but, but every so often there's something in that first line or two that was, that was important. And because I was skimming, I, I, I missed it. That ever happened to you? Well, generally that's not a big problem when it comes to email, but, but it can be a challenge when it comes to understanding the Word of God. We're beginning a brand new study this Sunday in the book of 1 Peter. I, I just love that book. I, I'm looking forward, along with our other pastoral staff members, of unpacking that for our church family. And um, this Sunday we're going to be looking at just the first couple of verses, uh, verses 1 and 2 of 1 Peter chapter 1. And we might be tempted just to kind of skim them just to get to more of the meat of the letter. I don't think that would help us in this study. For one thing, it, it's good for us just to think about, Peter wrote a book of the Bible. What, what does that tell us about the grace of the Lord? What does that tell us about the, the power of the sanctification process that someone could go from what he was like when we first read about him in the Bible to, to be at the place where he could write um, words that were inspired of God, of course, but words of such incredible theological depth. Wow, what, what a transformation. And if that could happen to him, it could happen to you or me. There's also some particulars about who the book is addressed to and even some of the initial things that are said about them and their relationship with the Lord that we ought not to skim. In fact, theologians have this term about inspiration. They call it the, the verbal plenary inspiration of the Bible. And what we mean by that is that every word is inspired by God and, and every one of them is inspired to the exact same degree. That's why Paul said, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. And so we're not gonna rush through the introduction because there's just too much that is very profitable to us spiritually today. I would encourage you during this study, and if you've been around our church, you're not gonna be surprised at what I'm gonna say next. I would encourage you during this study to try once a week to read through the book of 1 Peter in its entirety. You'll find that to be very, very beneficial. I would encourage you to begin memorizing some of the key memory verses, the ones that just stand out in your heart and mind. And would you be praying that God would use this study in, in all of our lives? It can have a maturing effect. And I would also encourage you to uh, be on the lookout for someone who's new. I, I just got back from the Dominican Republic and had the opportunity last night to, um, to teach an intro to faith class. And um, wow, uh, one of the fuller ones that we've had in years. And, and, and the Lord is bringing men and women to our campuses in, in marvelous numbers. And that may mean that there's someone brand new that you could have an opportunity to build a relationship with even this Sunday. So would you be in prayer that God would help us as we stay focused on our mission? Would you um, be on the lookout for specific practical ways you can help us accomplish that mission? And I'm, I'm really looking forward to unpacking the Word of God with you this Lord's Day.